come vape with me. Yesterday I brought home this. It's a starter bundle from IntelliSig. And I've been looking at it and playing around with it and getting impressions on it. This IntelliSig is being lined up to be a medical device, really. And so my overall feeling about it is like all medical devices, it's bleak. But there are some good points to it. First of all, it comes in a very simple pack, just cardboard, no magnetic boxes or anything like that. And you slide all this stuff out, which I've jammed in there because I can't be popped to fiddle about with it. And inside are some carts. These carts are just the um, nicotine in some sort of wadding because this IntelliSig works on the atomizer, cartomizer and battery system. That is the tiny minuscule battery, very light. And this, out of this black rubber, this is the cartomizer and the cart which has wadding in there. And I have actually taken a new cartomizer because, strangely enough, I did some drawers on this, pulled the back off this plastic bit, and it was totally empty. So how I got any kind of vapor from it, I can't imagine. In here is five milligram nicotine wadding in the plastic cart. And that, of course, just simply comes off. There is the atomizer. And that cartomizer, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but inside there you can see a tiny minuscule bit of wadding and that is five milligrams of nicotine. So this is attempting to be a medical device. The starter bundle comes with a small um, USB charging device, which is very useful, and the battery fits in there on your computer. There are loads and loads of instructions. Instructions all over the boxes, instructions on the outer pack, instructions inside these carts. And the carts are so difficult to get out of this area here. This metal is so heavy, if you were desperate to have a draw on your IntelliSig and you had run out of vapor, how you got that, I don't know, you need a knife or long nails like mine to actually cut into it. It's so heavily packed. Of course, everything in here is protection, protection, protection. Safety, safety, safety. There are directions in every language known to man, a massive epistle. And all of this part in English is safety information. Please read before use. This product must not be used by blah de blah de blah de blah de goes on for ages. Keep out of reach of children and important safety information here. And so the whole vibe from this is safety, protecting the person who is using the IntelliSig and also protecting the person's relatives and children from any harm that might come from this little device. Now the device itself, it's rather neat. I think it's quite smart and reasonably elegant. It's light, it's lovely, you can cut that in your hand and do stealth vaping big time. And it does come in white, silver and black. This is a white one. And white ones always remind me of cigarettes, so I would go for a black or a silver. I was very put off this cartomizer system with the atomizer and a cartomizer and wadding and padding because it was frightfully messy. I presume you can refill these 
because in fact in Telisig cell e-liquid and it's all vegetable glycerin so when you draw on you do get quite a good vapor but that's because it's VG well that wasn't so good let's do it again So that might satisfy some people. This VG liquid has no flavor whatsoever. I think these are expensive. You get one battery, five of the refill cartomizers, uh, and the little battery charging uh, thing, all for $29.95. Now that to me is expensive because you can get other devices where you get two batteries. In fact, two batteries is essential on a startup because you need to have something, especially if you're giving up smoking, you need to have a replacement battery at hand in case this fails. I haven't actually tested how long the battery lasts, but I wouldn't think very long. And the cartomizer is equal to seven cigarettes, six or seven cigarettes. For a smoker coming off cigarettes, this almost feels to me as Spartan as this thing. I'm going to show you this thing. This was my hospital emergency pack for if I ha ever had to go to hospital before I had learned about vaping. Let me show you what's in it. Some of those, I don't know if any smokers remember those, they are from the NHS and they are 10 milligrams of nicotine, which isn't half enough if you're a smoker coming off. And this ghastly plastic thing. The smoker was supposed to suck and draw on this thing. Well, this was horrendous. You got no blast from the nicotine. You sucked and drew so hard that your whole throat and neck were exhausted and sore. I thought this was a dreadful thing. It was spartan, bleak, ugly, and not at all satisfying. That is the NRT therapy from the NHS. That's their sucky blowy device. Now, if in Telesig could become an NRT replacement therapy product. I think it's less bleak having it in this form. However, one battery is not enough for people starting out. So as a starter pack, that is a misnomer. It is not because you have to have a charged battery waiting for the moment when the battery fails, so that you're not thrown back on having a cigarette. I'm wondering how you fill the carts. There must be a way. I haven't explored that yet, but I will. I have some VG from Intellisig, which I'm going to play with. It's all vegetable glycerin, and there's no flavor there's no flavor because I see you can get a menthol mix. But of course, to me, the flavor is the fun. So my feeling about the IntelliSig is that it's, and it's been thought about, but it has big gaps in it for a real smoker coming off after years of smoking onto this there's no backup system, no second battery. It would have been cartomizers, would have been much easier. The whole thing is Spartan. This is coming off smoking without any fun attached. This is truly a medical device. And of course, there are two kinds of vapors. There are those who are just wanting to stop smoking.
but I was never one of those. I never intended to stop smoking, so I got involved in replacing my smoking with vaping, and I'm a vaping hobbyist. Vaping has become a hobby, whereas if you were simply trying to get off cigarettes, these intellisigs might help you, and then once you were off and smoking zero or vaping zero nicotine, you'd chuck these in your drawer and find them years later, like I have with this ghastly NRT replacement therapy plastic device that was provided smokers on the NHS. Terrible thing. This can only be an improvement. I hope that one day smokers can go to the doctor and be given a script for something far more reasonable than this awful plastic cheap and nasty God knows who designed that I can't believe it was even thought to be helpful. So that's my feeling about the IntelliSig. I'll vape on it. Thanks for vaping with me.